Hello creative designers and welcome on, on to this tutorial. My name is Peter and on to this tutorial I just going to learn how to add this mini mini floating cut. We are going to do it all for free. We are just going to use a free plugin for us to achieve to this final result. In this tutorial we are just going to add know how you can customize all these, how to set everything. This is the dashboard, uh, the mini cut drawer dashboard, the one that we're going to set and I'm going to take you through step to step till we achieve to the final result. Without further ado, let's just get into action and I'll show you how. The first thing we need to do, we need to get the dashboard. On the dashboard section, scroll to where you have the plugin button. On Hofa, you see we have these three options. So on Hofa, you see you have these three options. Select the second option because you are going to install a new plugin. If you don't have the plugin, so come here and search the plugin. The plugin is called main cut drawer for WooCommerce. Oops, the, the one that we're going to use from the app, Apps PD, it has more than eight, uh, 800 active installation. You can see out of five, it has uh, a rate of five last updated one month ago. So we install the plugin. After, after successful installation, we need to activate the plugin. After successful installation and activation, now you have this button here that has just been delivered after installing the plugin. So uh, let's first of all with the one that we have installed. So you can see here you have it. You can see here you have it. So the next thing you need to do is click and the product will be added on the card. And you can view it from here. You can even add the quantity, how many quantity you need. You can even see, you can even see the total amount here. And let's open again. You can see even the quantity you need here, you can also add it from here. You can add, add as many as you can. You can even see even the total amount here changes. If you want to proceed to checkout, you just click on this checkout. If you want to open the full cut, you just click on it. So let's open and let's proceed to checkout. You open the two pages. The first one is this cut here. You can see the product that we have already. Inserted the new one you're here and you click check checkout, it just uh, direct you to this checkout page. And the next thing customer need is to fill this form and press the order. So let's do some more cust customization. So click on this mini cut here. From here now we have the general setting. Which type of uh, which type of the this root cut do you need? This is the calendar that we are holding, but if you need this one, you just have to click on that and click save. Only load here, you'll be able to see the difference. You see where it has now been located and how it looks like. So the one that will be able to customize a lot is the one that you have the drawer. We don't have, we don't need the floating one, but you can select the floating one and come here, set all the setting but I'm going to create the draw on the next the next uh, the next thing you're going to set is the position which position do you need if you need it to be on top light top uh, light middle uh, light bottom but I like it when it's on the middle so I can change the location for now it's on the left but I if I want it to be on light so I select on light and I save you still have the option to choose where you want it to be saved and you can see how uh let me first of all reload the page you can see currently how uh the, the color that is holding so when you need to change the color you just have that light to change the color here and choose the one that you see good for you if you choose pink or whichever whenever you choose like dark black whichever the color you want select it reload here and you see it has changed even the color so it's upon you to choose the right color you want the other setting here from there now we are going to customize these icons here and the appearance here so the first well, first thing is to set the icon which icon do you need yeah i may choose this one i choose this one whichever you want if feel good for you the next one is uh how many do you want here we have the items do you want the items or the quantity it's upon you 
but you can decide to have item quantity all pricing if you decide to have like a pricing it will show the subtotal or the card total I, it's all upon you to choose whichever you want but you can give a preview just save and come here and reload the page and we just start to be able subtotal this is the, the subtotal for everything so it's all upon you for me i'll choose to have how many items are on the card this pre animation you can set for now you see how you see the animation here but you can say to choose the one that you you see good for you it's all upon you so uh, let me choose that one so hide the circle uh this is the circle this one you want to hide it it's all upon you and from there uh circle counter this one do, how many do you want it to display is it the total item or the total quantity is all upon you you still have the right you can change after that click the change from there now you see the total uh, the, the card text this is the one uh, now you are now in the card item container this one you see this the one that we're going to set now here so you do you want to remove, to change this one uh you can give it the name or custom that you want let me say like what is on my card or uh, let me or buy now like that when you change to just change here from there now you have the undo or remove you want to have it if you don't want the customer to have that option to remove you just turn off you toggle this button and you just switch off you want to show the discount on the card you can also uh, activate on that you can also allow the all fee to be included for this uh, the coupon input you only get this option when you have the pro version and the applied coupon it will just show the uh it will just you only need to approve version for you to have this option the other thing is to enable the card button this one view the cut so view full cut this one do you want the customer to have this button so you can view the full cut you can disable all you can enable the other thing is the checkout button do you want to have it or not after that click save and load the page here after you do the page you can open and you can see now we have the undo all we have the do uh the do button that's how it was saved but after that you have your floating cut there on your website so from there I don't think there is much you can set from there is those things that are cell booster you need a pro version for this for you to able to create some campaign for the products and the other thing is the recommended uh, plugin they have that's how you can have a floating a mini floating cut so let's just give a check on how to work let's remove all this you can see how it can work you can move it when you just try to remove it from here and you even remove it from the cart you can still have the undo and or do you want do you want to remove it you want undo or you can empty the cart just like that so customer will need to have to come to the either the shop page or whatever they they want to purchase select the product they want after they select the product you can see they have been added this will be even uh, available in the mobile phones. Let's come to the mobile phone version. The same good for the uh, to look big for uh, for the mobile phone. That but this how to look even in mobile phone. Customer will only need to select that. Uh, select the checkout and proceed to checkout. That's how it will look like yeah it will be sticky or over and that's the way you can do it so let's do some more setting here let's get back here and i need we need to cross this one 
for when you just add any product it does it doesn't just open up let's remove all this let's go to home and we add some few products and you see it don't open up to show the content this setting was for to show the content uh, when you just add the content to the cart just open up and custom will only need that and proceed to check out that's how you can set it out for free my name is peter remember to hit the subscribe button for this tutorial uh, for this channel to help and support this channel if the tutorial was of any good to you remember to hit the sub uh, the like button for this tutorial thank you